welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact let's welcome our lead instructor rangarao karanam in this video we will be talking about abstraction abstraction is one of the fundamental concepts of software engineering how you build your applications abstraction is all about hiding complexity let's say i want to drive a bike all that i need to do is put the key in press the start button and use the accelerator or sometimes the brake am i really worried about how the engine is working how the brake is working nope all that is really abstract to me i don't really worry about it let's take the example of trying to print a document you just say file print and after a few minutes you would have the document printed in the printer are you really worried about the fact that the computers only understand zero and one are you worried about how data is being transferred from your computer to the printer nope that's another example of abstraction whenever we build applications we build them in layers why because the web layer does not need to know anything about the data layer it is abstracted away from the data layer all that it needs to worry about is okay i can delegate this to a business layer and it would take care of it it does not need to really worry about what happens in the business layer so layering of your applications is in a way abstracting away complexity think about your programming languages at the basic level we would have done some assembly language programming but do we really write assembly language programs these days nope all that we would be doing is writing java or python high level languages so you'd be writing programs in human readable languages you are no longer writing programs in zeros and ones that's another example of abstraction think about the sql queries that you write to get data from the database you just specify what data you want you don't really worry about how that data is retrieved from the database you just write the query and you expect the database to go and get the right data for you that's another good example of abstraction using the methods which are built in to your programming language is a good example of abstraction as well here i'm calling a method hello world dot ends with world and it returns back true i don't really need to worry about how end with ends with is implemented all that i need to understand is if i call ends with with any word which ends with the right thing it would return me true same is the case of hello dot is lower i don't really need to worry about what is the implementation it's abstracted away from me all that i need to care about is the fact that there's a function when i call i know what the result is abstraction is one of the pillars around which entire thing around software engineering is built around whenever we talk about programming methods classes design all that we are trying to do is abstract away complexity let's look at an example of microservices architecture in microservices architecture typically we have common components for security logging archetype why do we want common components because we want these common components to take care of specific functionality let's say you want to handle authorization and authentication that is handled by your security component so your security logic is abstracted away into this component all these microservices will use this component and will need to know how to make use of it they don't really need to worry about what is the inner level details of these components that's another good example of abstraction in this step we talked about abstraction we said abstraction is all about hiding complexity and we looked at a number of examples around abstraction until another video bye bye in 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300000 learners across platforms like udemy safari online and pact we have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months the question is what do you want to learn next we are building solutions to help programmers at all levels you can learn programming with our awesome courses on java python and javascript
You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular, and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.